on our third day in Ishgal, we joined a group lesson to learn the basics of cross-country skiing. As the lesson was in the afternoon, we had time to enjoy the morning with a slow breakfast and later a walk. The walk offers splendid views of Ishgal, but unfortunately at the end of it I slipped on the ice and fell straight on my coccyx. That was the beginning of a few painful weeks. It made cross-country skiing much harder and the next day we had planned on skiing, but instead we chilled, went slowly for a walk in the morning, rested in the afternoon and went for a horse-drawn carriage tour in the evening. The thing we also did after cross-country skiing was to go to the Kushtal, the most famous opera ski bar in town. Our third day in Ishgal started slowly with breakfast. After what, we decided to go for a walk around Ishgal with my mother and sister. We opted for a small trail that was reachable from town directly. We followed the trail to the next village and then walked back. There, we found such a cute chapel. As we still had time, we hoped to do another one. As the sun was higher, it was really enjoyable, and we took our time and even stopped for a tea break. At the end, the trail was completely frozen, and in an instant, I slipped and fell straight on my coccyx. Boy, how painful that was. And it lasted for a good three weeks. After all those emotions, we headed back in town and went for lunch in the Silverta restaurant, which offers such a beautiful setting. I went for a local dish, the Rushti, and Tina went for the stuffed potato. Both were truly delicious. When we arrived in Ishgal, we checked right away for cross-country skiing lesson as it is something we really wanted to try. The only one they had as a group lesson was on Monday afternoon, otherwise it would have been a private lesson. We opted for the group lesson, and after lunch we went and rented the equipment. Cross-country ski boots are so comfortable. And at 2 p.m. we met the group and the instructor in the city center. The group was super friendly and super great. We were all first timer. What was your name again? Alex. Alex. Alex, you move like on raw eggs. <laughs> yes. <Huh>? Relax a <laughs> little bit. Huh? Nothing can happen. When uh -huh. they fall down, it's snow. Uh -huh. That's frozen water. Oh. We will not break anything. Oh. Okay? <laughs> Relax, you know, like, <laughs> like a 80 euro. Uh -huh. Okay? Relax a little bit more and bend your knees. Huh? Uh -huh. Like a robot. <laughs> yeah? Bending the knees. And let's get him through. The key point is that when the right leg is in front, the left arm is in front. Always the opposite. And when the left foot is in front, the right arm is in front. Not that they do like this, yeah? On the right side, if there are two tracks, sometimes if there is only one track, the one who goes uphill goes out of the track that the other one who goes downhill doesn't have to fall. One way, yeah? Okay. So only outside here and not inside. Not like this guy here. Yeah, and always then, that way. And this, now we go here a little bit and up there we have a little hill. And this hill is very interesting. 
kleinen Hügel, ja? Yeah? Yeah. A little hill. This is this, no problem at all. Cross country, a little bit different. There are different types how we can go up, yeah? The first type is the easiest one, yeah? Same like this, this. The opposite of a snowplow, and then I go up like this. Okay. Bend the form. Hand forward, bend your knees. We're going down. Uh -huh. With the knee from here, with the stecke to brems, don't try to stop with the sticks. This can be very painful. Okay? Mm -hmm. The sticks are here for the balance and to get speed, not for stopping. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. For stopping, the only thing, I mean, here we even don't need to stop because it goes uphill afterwards, but for stopping, I put the left foot out and make like a snow plow. And Schneeflug machen. So this was lip for the aus the spur aus the so they can in hand. This must be all the inner. All the other inner side, but außen, as the most is complete, so we should be able to Alright, I will show you and then we try one by one. Einzelne probieren wir da heute zu fahren, ja, mit Abstand. Ja, wenn So the main facts about going down, bending the knees, leaning forward. When you start leaning backwards, game over. What means look like that? Let's do it again. <laughs> Just a small hill, yeah? I can also stay in the track and go up like this. But I have to be much faster and I have to lean more forward. But they can't go in the speed. Okay? Small steps, lean more forward. That looks much harder. for the skis eh? and this area for the sticks. When we go to the front, eh? arms closer together. Also when I change, eh? take both of my sticks and push them closer together. Did you see my movement? My whole upper body goes forward. Eh?
Have a nice day. You too. <laughs> Thanks. After one and a half hour of lesson, where we learned all the basics, we did one more run on our own. Ça a été tombé. Ah, c'est vidéo. At the end of our first and amazing time cross-country skiing, we went back to the hotel, took a shower and met Claire, Victor and Sasha in the Kuchtal, where later my parents also joined us. The Kuchtal is a must-do attraction, or actually bar in Ishgal. They have one, if not the best, après ski ever, and it is so much fun. Even though for us, one time there is enough, but for some people, they do go to Ishgal only for that. After a drink or two in the Kuchtal, we all headed back to the hotel for dinner. The next day we took it easy, had a slow breakfast, a slow start of the day. And then did a little walk along the cross-country ski tracks. That day my stepfather also joined us as he had back pain and couldn't ski. But even walking was too hard for him and he stopped halfway. We continued, made a break, had a tea and then walked back to town for lunch. As usual in Nishgal, I had a Jaeger tea, which is basically a hot tea with Jaegermeister and is something that I only drink in Nishgal. In the afternoon, we stayed in our room 
and enjoy a hot bath. We also noticed that every day the bed quilts are folded differently, which is quite cool. In the evening, we all went for a horse drawn carriage tour. It was so much fun, and Sasha, who really wanted it, truly enjoyed it. And as usual, to end the day, we first had an aperitif and then dinner. <laughs> 